global head of safety, Antigone Davis. She testified in front of the same subcommittee last week. Antigone, thanks so much for talking to us this morning. Now, Halkin says that Facebook prioritizes profits over safety. You are head of safety. How do you respond to that accusation? Well, first of all, thank you very, very much for having me. Um, in terms of, of that statement, I actually just sort of categorically disagree with it. I think I, that we have invested heavily in safety and security uh, over, the last, over the last recent years to the tune of $13 billion. But, but more importantly, very specifically, we did things like turn off issue ads and political ads ahead of, ahead of the U.S. election and all the way through the inauguration. That's money that, we, that was lost to us, but it was done for safety reasons. But, but specifically to that point, the whistleblower said that you turned off some of these different tools that enabled the fast spread of misinformation before the election, and then you turned them back on or you adjusted the settings after the election, uh, and that was one of the factors that led to the attack of the Capitol um, on, in January. So I'm wondering how you address that in the sense that, that maybe Facebook was not continuing to be responsible in terms of trying to minimize the danger to the public. Yeah, again, I think, I think that characterization is just completely off. In fact, we kept on the safety measures. There are certain emergency measures that we've put in place during, uh, right around the election to ensure safety and security that wouldn't make sense to keep on all the time. For example, we turned off profiles for around your, around your photos profile frames. That's something that in most times and situations is actually positive and fun and innocuous. But during that time period, we turned it off. But core safety things we left on and continue to this day. So, for example, we don't actually allow civic or political groups to be recommended anymore. But Antigone, the whistleblower said explicitly that the evidence shows, and this is from tens of thousands of documents, that Facebook is lying to the public about having made progress against hate, violence, and misinformation, and that the company takes action on just six-tenths of one percent of violence and incitement on Facebook. She also said that Facebook has said that's the best in the business. But my question to you is, is that enough? Well, first of all, Facebook is always trying to do to do better and to do more. We want to provide people with the most positive experience that we can, and that means constantly doing research to look at where there are gaps or where there are challenges and how can we make improvements to make sure people have a positive experience. But really, to, to, it is contrary to my experience at Facebook, and I've been here for, for seven years, to, to uh, categorize us as not making progress or not caring about these issues. It's just, it's just wrong.